What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be showing some love to the STI. Now if you're new to the channel, you might have seen the STI in the background of some of the videos and if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you may even know that the STI is the car that helped transition my channel from bike content to automotive content. It's also the first car that I bought completely by myself and what I mean by that is typically when you go to finance a car, if you don't have established credit, the lender will want you to have a co-signer. Uh, but the STI is the first car that I did not need a co-signer. I got it 100% by myself. And it's also the first brand new car that I've ever owned. Uh, we just don't do a lot of content on the channel with the car because it's just my daily and I don't really have a crazy build list for the car. At least as of right now I don't. Uh, in the future, things may change. But for right now, I just want to keep it clean and simple. However, this month is my three year anniversary with the car and I wanted to do something special to celebrate three years of ownership and you know, after three years, things can kind of get predictable and you tend to get used to the way the car looks and feels when you drive it. So I really was focusing on trying to do something that would help change up the vibe uh, of the car as far as driving it goes. Now, as I was thinking about all of that, you know, we're building a Fox body and that never uh, leaves my mind. I'm always thinking about what's next on the Fox body and what we need to continue the build. So as you guys know, we are currently in the process of putting the Fox body back together and in doing so, she will be getting a new pair of seats, which puts the Corbo bucket seats that we had originally in the Fox body on the side burner. Then I had an epiphany. If the Fox body gets some new seats, and the Corbo buckets are on the side burner, we could put the Corbo buckets in the STI, and then if we sell the factory STI seats, they'll pretty much pay for the seats that we're putting in the Fox body, so both cars will get brand new seats, and I'll pretty much break even, which is sick. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be installing the Corbo buckets in the STI. The first thing we need to do is get the factory seats unbolted so we have access to the electrical plugs underneath the seat. And then uh, once we get all that unplugged, we can remove the factory seats and start to get the Corbos installed. Now, if you've never done a seat install before, uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's four bolts per seat that hold them to the car. Once you get those bolts removed, uh, depending on your car, if you are working on a WRX or an STI, there will be electrical connections that you have to unplug before you can just pull the seat out of the car. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's a pretty simple install. We actually put some new seats in my buddy Jordan's WRX a couple months ago. If you guys saw that video, he got some sweet purple Recaros. Gotta get these little covers off. I'm gonna take off the headrest just to give us as much room as possible by making the seat as small as possible, if that makes sense. We should be able to move the seat back and have access to all of the little electrical connections that we have to get unplugged. Which leads to a couple of the disadvantages of going to an aftermarket seat. Uh, once you put an aftermarket seat in your Subaru WRX or STI, you will no longer have the airbags that the factory seats uh, carry in them, and you will no longer have your seat warmers, which really sucks, but being as I live in Florida, uh, we honestly get to use the seat warmers one, maybe two times a year uh, if we're lucky. So it's something I am willing to give up in order to have you know a racing style bucket seat in the car but if seat warmers is not something you are willing to sacrifice then you know aftermarket seats might not be for you got all of those connections unplugged so now i think we are good to go to remove the seat being as i care for this car dearly i was a little over cautious and i wrapped the bottom of the brackets on the factory seats i don't know if you guys can see that with little shop rags just to you know help better our chance of avoiding any type of let's just say accident 
she's out boy sucker going back to when i said you're no longer going to have uh, the side airbags on the seats uh, or the seat warmers before we put the new seat in we have to basically trick the system uh, that the airbag is still connected so that you don't get a airbag light on the dash and to do that i picked up these little 3.3 ohm quarter watt resistors from Amazon and basically we just have to get one of these little resistors and put them uh, in the two middle holes on this plug the yellow plug which is the airbag plug and then you know turn the car on and make sure that the airbag light uh, is not on I'm just going to fire up the car and verify that we uh, indeed do not have an airbag light No airbag light, boys. I think we're good to go. Sick. This is a rare opportunity, so I'm gonna take full advantage of it and get the area underneath the seats vacuumed out before we install the Corbo buckets. <laughs> The only thing that you're going to need to do before you get the new seats in the car is remove the seatbelt harness. Which I say, let's see if I can do it. Oh man, can we do it? Oh, I think I got it. That's it. I don't know if you guys saw it. I one take it. I one take it. Unplug that. So now the harness is free from the seat, and we could just uh, unbolt this nut, get it removed, swap it over to the new uh, Corbo buckets, and then we can get them thrown in the car. Now here's a pretty dope fact. Uh, the only thing I had to do in order to make the Corbo bucket seats that I had in the Fox body compatible with my 2019 STI was go on the Corbo website and order a new set of brackets for the 2015 plus STI. And all I had to do was literally remove the Fox body brackets that I had on the seats, which is four bolts per seat, remove it, put the new 2015 plus STI brackets on the seats and that's it. They're ready to be installed in the car. And I'll bet my bottom dollar that these brackets line right up with the factory holes on the car floor. Before we get that bolted in, we have to re-plug in our seatbelt harness. So while I'm holding the seat up, I'm gonna reach down here. There we go, that's plugged in. Now we can lower the seat and begin to line it up. We have one little miscalculation that uh, put us back a few minutes. Basically, when I first bolted up the little buckle here for the seat belt, I had it through this side hole, so that way it would rest as flush as possible on your lap uh, that it could. But problem was the angle of where it bolts up to the seat bracket and the way that it had to bend through the hole, uh, you know, science, it was pushed too much horizontally. So when you were sitting in the seat, you would like run into it and it was like uncomfortably sticking into your hip. And you know, there's no way that I could leave it like that. So I unbolted it, pulled it through the hole and stuck it on the outside and then re-bolted it back up to the bracket. And yeah, we're just gonna have to run it like that. Let's sit in this bad boy for the first time. I lied, I'm not. I don't want to lie to you guys. I sat in it one time before I turned on the camera and that's how I figured out that the seatbelt buckle was uh, stabbing me in the lap. But uh, yeah, 
right here is sick. Corvos, baby. Hell yeah, I am stoked. All right, let's, uh, what do we gotta do? I'm not even sure. I guess just take a look at it. It looks so sick, especially the all black seat with the red seat belts. It's pretty dope. Now we can move on to the passenger side. Just kidding, movie magic. I already got the passenger side done. Joke's on you guys. Ha <laughs> ha. But yeah, we had another miss uh, calculation and I went to go unbuckle or unbolt the passenger side seat belt right here. And there is some super funky shit going on down there where the seat belt turns into a cable and the cable goes around this like little pulley deal and that goes into a canister. And I attempted to get it out and I would have to take off uh, more trim than I would like in order to get the whole little canister thing out. And I think it goes to one of the airbags or something like that. I'm not even sure, but it was not worth uh, the effort. So I decided to just leave it and I tightened the bolt back up and then I switched the driver's side as well because I didn't want the driver's side seat belt going through the seat and the passenger side one not. I'd rather have them uh, both looking, uh, you know, the same. So yeah, unfortunately I had to do that. So the seat belts didn't really work out uh, with these seats the way that I would have liked them to, but nonetheless, uh, they should still work uh, properly and, you know, keep me and my passenger safe. But yeah, both of the Corbo buckets are now installed in the STI and this thing looks phenomenal. Like, look at that. Also, we got the fire extinguisher on the passenger side and that looks sick. Mounted on the floor there in front of the Corbo buckets. It looks so good. Let's go to the driver's side. Sheesh. That looks so sick. I like the all black look so much more than the red accented seats. Like it just looks so much better. There's just hints of red now. You know, all the red stitching and then the red belts. But uh, the majority of the interior is black. Way better than uh, the previous setup. So yeah, I am stoked on how that looks. Only thing I will say is that it is much more difficult to get in the car and out of the car because of the side of the bucket naturally. But uh, yeah, other than that, these things are rad. Like, look at that. So good. We got bucket seats in the STI. It's been three years, but we're here now. This is so sick. So rad. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Would you guys choose these seats over the factory seats or do you prefer the comfort of the factory seats over the racing style bucket seat? I don't know, you guys know me, I'm a car guy, so I'll choose the racing style bucket seat 10 out of 10 times. Plus the look they give the car and I'm sitting lower in the car now as well, too rad. But we're not done there. If you guys have made it this far in the video, there's one more thing I would like to add to the interior of the car that I think will complement the seats tremendously and you know add a little bit more of that fresh feeling uh, when I'm driving the car around. So in here I have a beat rush shift knob. Now if you guys saw my videos way way back when I first got the STI I did a couple install videos on the channel. I don't expect you to have seen them but if you did you'll know that this car has beat rush front and rear strut bars as well as a beat rush tow hook. So when I knew that I wanted to get a shift knob, I wanted to get it in a brand that was familiar to the car, not just some random shift knob or on Amazon or whatever. So initially I looked for an HKS shift knob uh, because the car has HKS coilovers, but I couldn't find one that I liked. And then I stumbled upon a beat rush shift knob that I liked. And uh, once I saw that it was in stock and not back ordered, I pulled the trigger and ordered it. So here we go, I'll open the box up for you guys. Put that over here. And as you guys can see, it is just an all white 
ball style shift knob with all of our Japanese instructions. So let me get this out of the packaging. Check this thing out. Is it focused? I don't know. But this thing is rad. So this should be super simple. All we have to do is unscrew the factory shift knob, which I like, but like I said, it's been three years and I'm trying to change up the vibe. So just take that guy off. And what's rad about this shift knob is that there is no numbers on the top. So a lot of the times when you go with an aftermarket shift knob, uh, when you screw it all the way down and get the shift knob tight, the numbers are off and you, you gotta kinda either put a lock nut so you can spin it straight and then tighten it with the lock nut or put washers. So I really like the fact that this has no numbers on it so we can just tighten it till it doesn't go down anymore. And uh, there she is. So yeah, I am stoked on that. My hands are filthy, but I'll get a clean rag here in a second. Wipe that down. Check that out though. The white shift knob. Let me get out of the car. Oh yeah. I like the white shift knob a lot because I think it subtly complements the white stitching on the seats. You know, you just see the all black buckets and the white and then the white shift knob in there. And it's not too much, but it's just enough. And I think it looks super, super sick. So I am pumped on that. It looks so good and I cannot wait to drive this car again because it's definitely gonna feel completely different from the norm and that was the whole goal. So now we're gonna fire this baby up one more time just to make sure that our airbag light indeed stays off of the cluster and we'll be good to go. Right, guys here's the deal it's a few days later and to make a long story short basically I had the wrong resistors so I ordered a different set of resistors and we're getting foggy because it's humid as shit out here in Florida but if you guys see now check out the little airbag light right there off oh. stays off no more airbag lights and that is sick so that was stressing me the hell out the last uh, few days because when I placed the order on Amazon it took like three days for the new resistors to get to the house uh, but as soon as I got them I plugged them into the airbag uh, plugs and that was it turn the car on airbag lights were off so it was just my mistake I had ordered the wrong resistors at first uh, but now we got it sorted and I will put a link for the new uh, resistors the ones that actually work in the description down below if you guys are planning on swapping out the seats in your Subaru WRX or STI and uh, yeah I am stoked no more airbag lights which is a huge huge weight off my shoulders I was planning on ending this video three days ago uh, you know assuming that everything was gonna go smoothly but when you're modifying cars, especially newer cars with tons of electronics and sensors, uh, you know, it never goes as easy as you think it's going to go. But we hung in there, we didn't give up, we got it dialed in, and now the STI is good to go again. And we got a brand new set of some Corbo buckets in the STI, and I'm stoked because just from sitting in the seat, I can already tell that uh, they are going to make a huge difference on how the car feels as far as driving it goes, which was my main goal behind uh, you know, putting new seats in the car. I wanted to change up the vibe and just make things feel uh, fresh and exciting again. So I'm stoked on the new seats. I'm stoked on the new shift knob, Beat Rush shift knob, super dope. And I cannot wait to drive this car on the new 
little setup here. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the new Corbo buckets in the STI. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Be easy.